How do you charge them? How much? Those are 150 a piece. 150? Each one. Okay. And what about this? And, uh, <sighs> Get your exercise. <laughs> They're Yoda. Yeah, cute. They're cute. How much are they? Are you? What's your phone doing? Hindenburg. Oh, cool. Jeez. Cool stuff, but probably expensive. Xingbao. Mm. Wow. <gasps> Look who it is. It's Gizmo. What is that? Holy beanie babies. I'm gonna get I gotta get Gizmo, I love him. Wow. This is cool too. Well, they weren't actually considered approved for the first time in the selection. Really? They weren't considered approved. Hi, how are you? That oh, goodness. is. I can't get it to work. Okay. I was going to say. It's a brand new battery. And somehow it goes back together and it should work. But since it's like that, 10 bucks. Uh, probably won't work for me either. Though. Okay. I can try to put it together if you want while you're looking. Yeah. Let me do that. How do you charge them? How yeah. much? Those are 150 a piece. 150? Each one. Okay. And what about this uh, little guy? 20. 20? Okay. Yeah, those games, those are. They insane. must be valuable, yeah. So I've got to connect there. Oh, that. Oh, that. How much do you get next? If I break it, I break it, you know? Box, $20. Empty tipping boxes. No, I don't. Unless I'm flying a helicopter. Oh look, the battery's not. I just Snuffleupagus. How much is Snuffleupagus? Five bucks. Five bucks. If you don't mind. Yeah. Not too bad. I can't figure it out. I'm not sure if the battery needs to be in there. Yeah, the battery I'm tempted by that. I might buy that. Well, I'll come back to it. Um, let's say ten bucks for that little guy. Okay. How much are you? It's a nice Yoda. Yeah. How much are your shirts? Uh, five. All five. Oh, nice. Would you wear one? No, I don't really do collared shirts. Oh no, his leg broke. Yeah. Pop it right back on. There you go. Does he talk? Oh, here we go. There's a power button. He he actually is voice command. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you look it up online, and you can get the entire voice. You just say, hey, R2, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, And then he does dance mode and stuff <laughs> like that. That's fun. That's pretty cool. How much are your uh, bits? Um, let me make sure the Freud's not in there. Is it just the five? There's a red thing in the back. That's um, the Freud. That's an eighty dollar bit in the back. Oh really? Yeah. So I gotta keep that one. But there's, it, unless I mean you're interested in buying that. But yeah. the other five. This one here. Yeah, the box. I'll get it out for you. Fifteen bucks. Okay. Here. For all those. There you go. That's so the, you don't accidentally sell it. Thanks. Fifteen, huh? It might be pretty decent. If you want 50 of them, more better. These are cool. Um, yeah, five bucks. wants to play with that, there it is. There it take, is. Just take a handful and five yeah, bucks. Go ahead. Put it in a bag. bag. Yeah. I'll get you a little thing. 
What are those? <coughs> Three pennies. Oh, okay. Ma'am? Did you want it? Here you go. It was. That's my company. No. My mom. I'll go get it. That wind is brutal. Oh, that's cool. It's gonna be too expensive. This is nice. That? Oh, look, he got that working. I don't know about working. <laughs> Turns on now. Sometimes. I don't know if he's going to go that. Oh, that's even more. I thought he was cool enough. Fill it up. A handful. A handful. Yeah. What do you guys? There you go. It, it, now, if it's something like that, that takes like, that takes one. I'm just kind of looking. Some of his prices are outlandish, so I'm trying to like make sure I don't get screwed. <laughs> oh, look at this. What's that? These are uh, walkie talkie. Oh, here we go. He, he might underprice this. Let's see. How much is your keyboard? Um, five bucks. Okay, what about this C3PO? I'll do 35. I think it's 70. But okay. I think that's one of those limits. It's a number, not crap. No, it's really cool. <laughs> it is. It's really neat. I just don't really like the animated stuff. Really? So. Yeah. I did. I don't know where it's at. No, I sent it to my dad. Because he originally gave me my iPad mini or whatever. Uh, Star Wars now. And, uh, this will be. I did. I thought I was near a rain. I was down there at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then all of a sudden, 8 o'clock. Yeah. His leg doesn't want to stay on. Uh, very expensive painting. Would you, uh, what would you do on all this stuff here? Oh, oh god, that's <laughs> What's the painting of? Well, this is by a gentleman by the name of Michael Lang, and uh, this is an original. Yeah, wow. it's just an abstract, that's all it that's is. That's cool. But it, I bought it as an investment piece because his stuff was really increasing in value. Yeah. And I haven't I mean, paid I attention. Have okay. And it's just been sitting upstairs. Yeah. So I'm selling it for what I bought it for. Okay. 300 bucks. Okay. How about, what about all this here? What's that oh, okay. ring? I don't think it will affect anything now. 25. Yeah. Because um, it should be fine. I mean, 80 bucks. Eighty. I, don't yeah. know. I think that's. I think that's an increase. 65, 60. 65, 65, 70. 70. Okay, seventy. What's Gizmo? 70. Okay, seventy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I wasn't sure how much Gizmo. Where are we, Dave? Where? Are where? Are you, right back? Uh, you are. Seventy dollars. Take care, Dick. It's good. Nice meeting you, man. Right. Thank you very much. How much are these things? These are just little magnets to play with. Okay. Uh, it might be right on top. Did you look? Let's do it, man. Take care, okay? How much are the magnets? I'm sorry, those are so cool. Yeah. My kids just never they didn't catch on. But you can build like crazy stuff. Um, Ten bucks? I mean, I bought a ton of them. You can take the bin too. And ten bucks? Interesting. <laughs> How much are your Hindenburgs? Um, so I'm selling those online for 70 Okay. But if you want one, 25 bucks. 25 okay. bucks? They're, uh, They're it's like a model. I'm going to break it. I didn't even see the Terminators. What's that? I didn't even see these. How much are these? Uh, those are 15 a piece. They're Funko? I've got the full set inside. Oh wow, that's cool. The T-800. 
Yep. And that's the, they made two versions. Okay. One chrome and one not. Ah, okay. Is you who are you talking to, Mom? Aaron? You got that, man? That's really heavy. That is heavy. I'll here, give it here, to here. him to carry. Just put it in my pile yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. That's right my there. pile. I'm still looking. He's got a lot of interesting stuff. Wonderful kid. But not quite as risky and as crazy as he has in this little bucket. Probably a good thing. Yes, it is. I see you have a lot of moving blankets. Um, They're moving. Uh, there you go. Please no, we, take no, the no, pile. we don't need them. No. Oh, God. We were moving. Oh, That's okay. why I recognize. We had a lot when we moved too. Those just need How the things like in them. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I mean, it, it's changed, unfortunately, because we had our, that tornado that did come through here. Yeah. Oh, really? My house. Oh, no. It was a direct hit on my house. You're kidding me. Came over here, hit their house, went there, took down three massive oaks that used to drip, drip, oak, um, drop, yeah. roof, I guess, over my house. And one went through a roof. Um, wow. Did your house get damaged? Yeah, I got a new roof. Uh, yeah, but, but other than that, no. Just trees. Yeah. And a fence was ruined. I've got a lot of good movies. Was that scary? Which one? The tornado. <laughs> I like, were you in I the house? Oh, jeez. I, I heard it. I mean, you, you, it's unmistakable if you've ever yeah. heard a tornado. Yeah, but it's like a train, right? It's exactly like a freight train. Wow. That's yep. scary. And I, it hit my room where yeah. I was sleeping. And I went into, I've got a safe room. If that window right there is an inch thick. Wow. That's a safe room. Okay. So, but it's all to my room. Whew. So I went in there. Yeah, it'd be stressful. So what is the significance of this kind of penny as a person who knows nothing about coins? That's a wheat penny and they're made out of copper. Oh, and so, so they these... have... So these, like, you get some teen, like, I think that's a teen right there. Look at that, 1916 or 18. Yeah. So that is a penny. These are steel pennies from the war oh, wow. when we decided to not we needed the copper for okay all of our ammunition gotcha There's wow. indian head pennies okay and then you've got just your older jefferson nickels this is a liberty nickel okay 1883 to 19 1911 wow. 12 1912 yeah. i think yeah, and then these, these are, for, um... and what are these ones these are buffalo, are buffalo nickels so these all have some like actual precious metal in them or something? No, no. Not these, just else. these. No. Well, copper is not really here. precious. Uh, well, copper is sort of precious, not, yeah. This is my copper collection. Holy cow. And that's my patented case. Oh, that's cool. Wow. So, and this is my case. So you asked what awesome. Numis is. Yeah, okay. Um, this is one of my boxes that I ship stuff in. Okay, that's neat. <laughs> You're back. I called him. He said, oh, please go see if they still got one. <laughs> 40 bucks. All right. All right. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you come back for? I'm curious now. Intergalactic yeah, passport. Like oh, that. cool. Yeah, I'm George Lucas. <laughs> nice. I'm trusting you this guy. I know where he lives now in case he likes it. You know what it yeah. is? Well, it sounds like something it's Star Wars. Empire Strikes Back. Okay. Now, George Lucas created them because he didn't want you know like take yak face for example yeah like we or whoever from the, the film that isn't in the whole film yeah they would give them these and only stamp the passport for the sets that the, the actor could enter ah oh. that kept them from knowing the whole movie huh smart and this was for empire strikes back i believe if i remember correctly I'll let you look now they me. wrote star wars on the back uh-huh so it's even better if it's with Star Wars. Yeah. Um, but we could look. He didn't even name it. He hadn't named the movie yet. Mm -hmm. So it was okay. for Empire Strikes Back. Mm -hmm. But he put Star Wars on the back. Okay. okay. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back. Dang it. Yep. Uh, he'll enjoy that. That's, that's There's it. not a lot of those around. Yeah. I don't know, like, <laughs> that's wild. Steven Steele. Oh, yeah. All yeah. right. We should probably leave soon. I was just seeing how much this bat thing was worth. Yeah. Can't even find it. It's interesting. I'm sure his price, his prices aren't very good. But it's cool stuff, so it's hard yeah, to resist. I don't know why I bought this. Here, I'll carry these things. Okay. Did you pay for them already? I paid for all that. Yeah. See, Elijah would love that. Hundred fifty. Yeah. I mean, it's honestly not a terrible price. 
that's in Florida with AT&T that not wants it. to give him Unless you really water. He would love it. First stuff he does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that's about what they sell them for in the store, too, so it's not really a deal. You got some stuff? Wow. Yeah, he's a, sounds like me. He'll do AT&T. <laughs> he does uh, thank spectrum. You. Have Take a care. Day. I'm glad you guys got all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, thank awesome. you. Appreciate Enjoy. it. Thank How you. much is your bat cave? I know the number's going to be high. I'm just uh, curious. $2,000. $2,000? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, made my I'm name up. The bat cave. I've only seen one. Yeah. Ever. No, I know. I've you never seen, seen that version. Uh -huh. So this is all sealed, and it's actually, this is the prototype. Wow. Uh, you should get it graded. I know. You'd probably get I, a lot I'm of money really for it. <laughs> yeah, you're against companies. grading entirely. I am. Okay, yeah, it's a lot of scamming well, I'm, going I'm on. Yeah, makes exactly. sense. All right, thanks, man. I totally failed on this item. I bought it today at a yard sale for $30, and it sells for $75. As I was carrying it in, I broke the handoff, so now it's pretty much worthless. Okay, so that's rare. An entire video dedicated to just one yard sale. I thought this yard sale deserved its own video because I was there for probably 45 minutes and I cut a lot of it out. I think this video is only gonna be like 20 minutes or 18 minutes, something like that. Just because a lot of it was like, honestly, comping. Like I was on my phone just looking things up. His prices were all over the place, okay? So he maybe is a reseller, definitely a collector, and he seemed to know the value dead on for some things, right? Like he had that C-3PO, animated statue he's like yeah that sells for 70 i'll sell to you for 30 or 35 whatever he said and i looked it up and literally it sells for 70 bucks and so he like knew the value dead on i really liked that the problem is when i got it home and i was bringing it inside i broke the hand off of it so any potential profit i had may have gone out the window there and i made like a tiktok out of that the fact that i broke it and someone commented why waste your time if it sells for 70 or 75 and you pay 30 or 35 you're not going to make any profit after fees I, people definitely do that a lot where they say you're not going to make any profit, but they don't actually do the math. So you got to think about those things before you just accept that sort of sentiment. If something sells for $70 and you have to pay 15% in fees, that's going to be like $12 in fees. Okay, so you sell it for 70, you get 58 after fees. They also always say after shipping and fees. But if you're like me, you sell things plus shipping. So the plus shipping, usually you actually make a dollar or two on shipping extra profit uh, because it calculates retail rate and you pay a little less. So I usually, for shipping, it's, it's usually like plus a dollar or two in my profit. So if I take my $70 sale and fees bring me down to $58 and then I get two bucks back in shipping, basically I've gotten $60 for an item I paid 30 or even 35 for. That's a $25 profit. Now then someone says, oh, but then there's tax. Yeah, I mean, you have to pay taxes at the end of the year on your profit. Now, mind you, you can write off the gas to get to the sale. You can write off a bunch of other stuff. But let's just pretend you didn't write anything off and you had like a 30% tax rate. Remember, it's $25 profit, so 30% tax rate is like 750 so now you've got 18 dollars in profit 18 dollars is basically what someone gets paid to work an hour at a lot of like retail locations it's actually more than a lot of people get i think 15 an hour 12 an hour in that range and so i'm making 18 dollars in about five minutes of work because i'm already at the sale right people say well if you hadn't gone to the sale blah 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 but i'm already at the sale and i'm just buying something and bringing it home and taking a picture of it and making 18 dollars after all is said and done with a few minutes of effort so you know you got to think about it in perspective it may not sound like a huge profit margin but it is money that you didn't have so anyway this that's not the point of this video <laughs> the point of this video is <sighs> this guy had great stuff the guy was super nice, but his prices were all over the place. He had the board games. He said $150 for the board games, but they're literally for sale now. It's not even old. For sale now on Best Buy for $20 for this game. So I don't understand why it was $150 at the sale. That was kind of strange, but I, I think I did okay. I had to do a lot of comping. And at the end of the day, I think I did all right. I think everything I got, I will make some money on. I don't know if I'll sell Gizmo, even though I probably can make a little profit on him. I think it paid 70 out the door. That R2-D2 Astromech, I've sold that before. Here's the trick with that. If it works well, you can get over 100 bucks for it. If it doesn't, you're looking at 40. So I paid 25. The condition is very clean for any, like I've never seen one that looked that good before. So I will have to test it. You'll have to follow me on NC Flipper, my other YouTube channel where I'll 
you know, check to see if it works and then I'll sell it on there hopefully. But if it does work, I expect to get over $100. So that one item should pay for everything. If it doesn't work, then I'm not broken even by selling it for parts. I mean, it'll help. It'll take me a good part of the way. That plush, the Snuffleupagus will sell for 20. That broken C-3PO thing will sell for at least 30, even broken. I'm gonna try to glue it and then maybe I'll sell it for like 50 or something. I'm not gonna lose money at this sale is the moral of the story. The Apple keyboard I should sell for $25. I'll say that this though, I was feeling a lot better about that sale when I knew that C-3PO was worth 70 and I had spent 70 because then anything else I sold was going to be profit. Uh, but whatever, it is what it is. I won't lose money. I should make some money. There was a million awesome things there. What did I not buy that you wish I had or that you would have bought? Uh, bearing in mind, his prices were kind of out there for some of the stuff. Uh, the Hindenburg. I actually forgot to buy the Hindenburg. I thought that was a decent deal. He was selling it for $25, a model Hindenburg. Did look it up on eBay and it sells for $70 to $80. So not a bad flip. It would have been easy to sell. I just honestly forgot to buy it. So it was a cool guy though. And I really enjoyed learning about wheat pennies and stuff like that. So it was a fun, a fun day. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.